Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Reef Health Update. Conditions across the Great Barrier Reef continue to be driven by the active but weakening El Nino event, along with monsoon activity. Sea surface temperatures are currently between 0 and 2 degrees above the long-term average across the entire Great Barrier Reef region, and we're watching these temperature conditions carefully for their effects upon sensitive species. Rainfall has been extensive in northern catchments with up to 300 millimetres being recorded in some areas and up to 200 millimetres in central and southern catchments. We've received 187 uh, reef health reports from our monitoring network over the past seven days, and these have documented minor to moderate coral bleaching on some reefs, minor instances of coral disease and some coral damage associated with the cyclones from earlier in summer. Cranathorn starfish activity continues to be highest in the southern Great Barrier Reef, along with some isolated outbreaks in the central region and some emerging outbreaks in the northern part of the park. This combined reef health information is used to target our dedicated Cranathorn starfish control program. That program also provides information on other reef health impacts such as coral bleaching. We have received some reports from our network of severe coral bleaching on a number of reefs in the southern part of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. Along with our partners at Ames, we've set up a dedicated aerial survey that will be conducted over the coming weekend to better understand this situation. We'll continue to monitor conditions carefully over the remaining weeks of summer and into March and provide that to you as it becomes available in each reef health update. You can help us by downloading the Eye on the Reef app from your chosen app store and using that to capture information on the amazing creatures that are out in the Great Barrier Reef, as well as any instances you might see of reef health impacts. Thank you for your attention and look forward to bringing you the next reef health update next week.